Hello! The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to compile a project which will install HTTPS server on ESP32 following the example on the expressive side but the example will, won't be used as is, it will be simplified from my point of view in order to emphasize the main thing and make it less generic but uh, more uh, understandable. In the previous video videos we performed the following things. First we created the search directory and uh, by using OpenSSL we created two files which are uh, a which are uh, keys, uh, key, keys and certificate. In our second video, we updated the menu config to enable the usage of HTTPS headers, this one. Updated the CMake list and component MK in order to incorporate the key and the certificate inside this the program and also updated as SDK config file in order to allow ela enough memory to use this file to to use the certificate and the key in this uh, video we will take the example from the expressive side and copy paste it and make a few changes in order to make it to work in pretty simple terms first we will use this example which is uh, saved in the uh, get git uh, github uh, expressive examples protocols https server simple and here you also can follow through and uh, they have the, the same uh, rules that I followed in order to install all the previous things that we have talked about and we will concentrate in this video on the main you see here uh, all the things that we talk about main the changes that we make inside the main file is uh, that here they use the protocol example common a file header file which enables in the example to the connectivity via Ethernet or Wi-Fi uh, to the server in our example we don't use this header in, in order to simplify use only the two functions which which is the uh, Wi-Fi event handler and Wi-Fi connection we which we have used with the, with our previous examples without any change and incorporate them here uh, in our main we only initiate uh, the memory initiate the Wi-Fi and using directly the start web server uh, function from the example on the contrary here in the example they basically perform the same thing but it's look for my opinion a little more complicated they do the same uh, memory initiation here you see the Wi-Fi initiation uh, and an Ethernet initiation from the common example which we don't use and here the function is initiated via the connect handler the connect handler which is initiated here and here is initiate the start web server in our example we deleted all this code and initiate the start web server directly and uh, we don't use all those functions what we really use is the start, start, start web server which was copied copy pasted and also the handler for the get request without any change 
the uh, get handler is the same as in previous videos that we covered uh, for the HTTP GET request. It have no influence on the fact that we are using the HTTPS secure server. The start web server have a small change. Here you have this bunch of code which enables us to incorporate and use the key and the certificate. This kind of uh, usage is enabled in the component MK and CMK text. This enables us to perform this kind of usage and read directly from the memory as a string the key and uh, the certificates that we have created with OpenSSL. Except those, uh, e so except this area uh, is the same uh, that we used in the previous videos. And uh, see how does it work. Here, w here we will use two ways to uh, to perform the GET request. The first one is via our Firefox browser. We'll open new tab and uh, right here uh, the IP of the secure server. Okay, we got an IP of a secure server. We'll take it. Go to our browser. Okay. Now the browser is uh, saying to us that the site is not secure. Uh, the reason for this is that we have used self-signed certificate in OpenSSL, which is a free software. It means that our certificate wasn't signed. It's 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 there. They can they the the the, 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 the browser can proceed, but it's warning us that our certificate certificate wasn't signed by by any appropriate authority, uh, and uh, we created it by our by, by ourselves. In our case, just to check uh, that it's working, we'll go to advanced and. Uh, accept the risk because we know it's our server and here we, we got uh, the get request result hello secure world which is which is here hello secure world the same we can do with uh, our post postman we will write here and and we have the reply Please note that in some uh, cases the postman can require here in this area the same authorization as a browser and it will say to us that this is a secure server. In my case I already author authorized it and uh, it doesn't ask me again. But the GET request working also via the postman. Okay, here in this video we show the working example, a simplified one, from the expressive side for HTTPS secure server on ESP32. Thank you.